another edition of All About Solid Waste Services. My name is Bianca Howard. Today we're at the Wilders Grove Solid Waste Services Facility. That's headquarters to the City of Raleigh sanitation employees since 2012. It's appropriate that we're in an office building because today's topic, indoor composting, can be done in any home or office. This may look like a plastic storage box, but it's actually a worm farm. By investing a few dollars, you can transform this simple box into a clean indoor composting system. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Cleveland Lasseter, GIS technician for the city of Raleigh. Bianca, I like a worm bin for my office. How do I get one? Well, we start by buying a plastic box, like this 10 gallon one here. Plastic bins are inexpensive at home improvement stores, so I usually buy two. That way I have an extra lid to put underneath the bin in case there's any drainage. Do I need to add holes? Definitely. You want to take a drill and add half inch holes around the sides, um, all four sides close to the top. You also want to add about eight holes in the bottom for draining. What is all the newspaper for? Newspaper gives the worms a way to stay moist. They breathe through their skin and if they dry out they could die. Newspaper also gives us a place to hide the food. That helps to cut down on bad odors and fruit flies. Is any newspaper okay? Any color print is fine, but you want to stay away from coupon inserts and any slick papers. Take the newspaper and tear it in half inch strips and drop it in your bin, like this. Perfect. Keep going until your bin is about two-thirds full. Then we'll take a spray bottle and spray the newspaper until it's about as moist as a wrung out sponge. When you squeeze it in your hands, only one or two drops of water should come out. Okay, what's next? It's snack time. Red wiggler worms are excellent at eating our leftovers. I keep this box in our fridge to hold my worm food, but any container with a lid will do. What can I feed them? Most fruits and vegetables are okay. Worms can also eat coffee grounds and tea leaves, as well as paper filters and tea bags. Eggshells are okay, but rinse them first and crush them. And remember, they take a long time to decompose. When I'm cooking dinner, I like to keep my worm box next to my cutting board. Chopping up food into smaller pieces helps them to break down faster. Remember, worms have tiny mouths. So where should I put their food? Use your hand or a fork to pull back the bedding. You want to drop in just a handful of food today. In a few more days, add another handful, but in a different spot. Okay, I think my bin is ready for worms. Where can I get them? Buy worms from a worm farmer. A worm what? A worm farmer. They raise worms specifically for composting. You'll need one pound of red wiggler worms to be successful, and it's much cheaper to buy that many from a farmer than to buy a bunch of cups from a bait store. If you do order worms over the internet, you'll need to add about a cup of regular garden soil. That adds millions of microorganisms, like bacteria and fungi, that will help your worms to decompose the food. Take your worms and spread them gently over the newspaper bedding. Keep going until you've put out all of the worms, but don't put the lid on. Why not? Remember the worms are sensitive to light. Leave the lid off to help them get used to their new home. When I set up a new worm bin at my house, I put the bin in my bathroom with the light on for 24 hours. Sure, that uses a bit of electricity, but it helps the worms to get used to this new bin. They'll burrow into the bedding to get away from the light. The next day, you can put the lid back on. Your bin looks a lot different from mine. What's that, all that black stuff at the bottom? That black stuff in the bottom is called castings, which is a nicer way of saying worm poop. Mm -hmm. You'll see a thin layer of that on your bin in about six weeks, but it'll be four to six months before you need to harvest. I've done a lot of things in my life before, but I've never harvested worms. Can I come to you for help? Sure. Harvesting is simple, but it can be a little bit tedious. You can do it indoors in your kitchen, but I prefer to go outside. On a bright sunny day, I take my worm bin outdoors. I put down a tarp or an old plastic garbage bag. I scoop castings out of my bin and form them into little mountains like this. 
the worms will wiggle to the bottom to get away from the sunlight. You got it. Over the course of a couple of hours, the worms will move down away from the sun. I'll take off the top of the castings and put them in a container like this old yogurt tub. I can store the castings until I'm ready to use them. There are many ways to use castings, but my favorite is to mix them with the cheapest potting soil I can find. That way I save money, but my container plants get the nutrients they need. But where did the worms go? I'll put the worms back in my bin with a fresh supply of food and new bedding. Then the cycle starts all over again. So, what's the best place to keep my worm bin? Red wigglers will die in extremely hot or extremely cold conditions. They thrive indoors, like in my office. At home, if you don't want to keep your worms in the house, you could keep them in your garage or even an outdoor shed. One last question. Do I need to tell the guy in the cubicle next to me that I have worms under my desk? Only if you want to. If you do worm composting right, there is no odor. You can avoid most problems by keeping foods like meat and dairy products out of your worm bin. You also want to avoid smelly foods like onions and garlic. If you do have an outdoor compost pile, save the onions and garlic for that. This may sound crazy, but can the worms escape through the holes in the bin? No. The worms have everything they need in that bin. It's normal to see a few worms around the top of your bin when you take off the lid to feed them. If you see more than about 10 worms, that's a sign that something's gone wrong. The worms are trying to leave. You have a problem and you need to solve it. Cleveland, thank you so much for joining me today. Are you ready to start composting with worms? Visit our website, www.raleighnc.gov and search indoor composting. Our site has links to a publication you can download to help you set up your own worm bin. Do you need guidance on finding local worms? Call 919-996-6872. Thank you for watching another edition of All About Solid Waste Services.